Hey guys, Ladder Spike here. I'm bringing you a video about depression. Uh, I don't want to waste any time, so I'll get right into it. Uh, if any information on the gameplay will be in the description box. So, uh, let's get right into it. Well, depression is undoubtedly real. In everyday life, we can see people who are visibly depressed. People are at a terrible point in their life. So, uh, let's begin with a bit about depression. Uh, for perfect example, Dostoevsky's Notes from the Underground, um, we see a sick man, sick depressed man, who basically says that uh, he can be entertained and cheered up temporarily by some sort of material thing or toy, if you will, but he will return to a spiteful self soon after. This is basically depression for most people, including myself. We are depressed and sick, if you will, and find something to temporarily make us better. In my case and many others, video games offer this. They offer a sort of medicine for depressed. But what happens when you take that away? When your way out of depression is non-existent? I'm not talking about having your Xbox broken or anything like that, but more so when it becomes meaningless and offers no comfort. That's when you realize you're depressed. To speak from personal experience, it is the shittiest feeling ever. Because you wake up one day and it feels like a dream. Everything hits you in the face and you realize video games or whatever, your way out isn't helping. For me it was activated by a stupid, stupid event. To be a little more specific, a girl. To put things into perspective, it was about half a year ago, give or take a few months. I haven't started dating or even thought of dating. Now this might be normal for a 40 year old just out of a divorce to do, but I'm quite young, and it's a bit abnormal for me not to date for such a long period of time. So yeah, I spent endless nights um, sulking in bed. You know, no sleep whatsoever. My appetite was gone. Sleep didn't matter. I don't want to do anything. I separated myself from my closest friends, and honestly, I actually haven't told them about this. I kept it to myself, and uh, I let it eat me from the inside out, really. I didn't want to talk about it. I just kind of wanted to get it over with, you know? I wanted to get over her. I was over her, really, in all reality. But I wasn't over depression, in effect. So, yeah, there are still late nights and second thoughts, but I'm getting over it. It's not as big a thing. Now, I like to bring up a, a sort of analogy. Um, depression is like a sort of bad dream. Uh, it's easy to fall into. You know, it can happen without any forewarning whatsoever. You just kind of fall into it. You, know, you go to sleep, and there you are. It's you know, really easy to go into, but nearly impossible to wake up from. We've all had those dreams, you know? You go to sleep, you're fine. Um, whether you stayed up late or whatever it was. You know, maybe it was just a great sleep, but you go to sleep and you have a terrible, terrible dream. Nightmare, if you like to think of it that way. You can't wake up from it, you know? You uh you try and tell yourself like you're dreaming, like wake up, you know? And but it doesn't it doesn't work. Uh we've all had it, I'm sure. Maybe it's just me, but I, I don't think so. You know? Or you can't wake up, you're pretty, pretty sure it's a dream. Like it's it's pretty much undebatable that it's a dream. But um like no matter how much you tell yourself to wake up, it's no help at all. Um, you know, telling yourself to wake up, telling yourself it's a dream, telling yourself this is all messed up, I don't want to be here, it's, uh, it makes you anxious, it makes you frightened, it worsens things. And it's the same with depression. Um, when you realize it, when you're, when you're kind of like, yeah, I'm depressed, it sucks. It's, when you kind of realize it, it's terrible. It, not only because it's so much more real, but because you accept it. Because you kind of allow yourself to be taken over. And that's when most people give up. When they've lost their way out. When they've, you know, when video games don't comfort them anymore. When, you know, whatever it is. Knitting, I, I don't know. Whatever it is for you. When it just kind of gives out. Um, you know, it's not like... I became overweight or anything. I'm fit. I was, you know, in great shape. I still am. Um, 
but it's it's jarring. It's you know you're not gonna physically look different. I mean, sometimes you will. That's pretty bad, but it's more of a mental change, a mental scar, a uh, you know period in your life that you'll remember. Maybe, maybe you won't. You know, depression is different for everyone. You know, it's not black and white really. Um, it's gonna be worse for some people. But one of the main reasons people see depression is selfish reasons. Um, you're gonna have to bear with me on this one, especially if you're currently going through depression. You're not gonna want to hear this. Um, depressed people are quite often selfish. Not the whole argument that you're making other people feel worse, and it's a selfish thing for you to do that, but what you're doing, in effect, is putting yourself away from the rest. And the moment you do that, so much more comes up. So much more. You will have more problems than before. So, I mean, it's a big option for a lot of people to keep it in, you know, don't tell anyone about it. You know, you'll solve it yourself, and you won't. <laughs> I can almost assure you that. Um, but yeah, it, it's not really better that way either. Um, but it's selfish, really. It's kind of like, you know, suicide in effect, depression. You're killing yourself, really. You're, you're not who you were before. If you've been through depression, you know it. You're you change quite a bit dramatically you know I <laughs> and I guess it takes a while to realize it you, know, you don't you don't really tell yourself you're depressed you do but it's never gonna have the same impact as when someone else pulls you aside and says what's wrong you know when you hear a sincere question of somebody seeing what you've been feeling you know, they see that you're depressed. They see that you're in some kind of trouble. And when you notice that it was, like, visible, when, you know, you feel like you've been invisible all this time and suddenly you're not, suddenly it's very visible. People say, hey, something's wrong with you. Just talk about it. Nobody wants to talk about it at that point. I mean, just about everyone's maybe talked to themselves about it, but you don't want to talk about it at that point put on the spot and nobody likes that especially when you're going through you know, troubled stages so I encourage everybody to uh, if you've ever been you know like asked what's wrong and there is something wrong and you might have denied it at the moment you don't have to go back to that person that asked you and you know confess to them but I encourage everyone just to kind of think about it if you've ever been caught in depression so to speak because that is possibly one of the things that will help you the most, that it helped me the most. Being kind of pulled aside and asked, what's wrong, you know? We all see it. And you might be told, and I was told, you know, you're being a burden, you know? Nobody wants to be around you. It sounds like South Park, really, if <laughs> you've ever seen that episode. But, um, yeah, it, they don't mean to be mean if you've been told you're a burden. They don't. Anyways, the video is coming to an end. Uh, I wish I could fit much, much more into the video, but I just don't have the time. So, thank you for watching. Uh, as always, this is Ladder Spike, and I will have many, many more videos to come. Battlefield 3 or not.